Dear students, welcome to today's class. Today I am going to explain uh, some problems which were given uh, recently concluded JE mains examinations. Okay, so let us see the first problem. So if z square plus z plus one is equal to zero, where z is a complex number, then find the value of uh, modulus of sigma k runs from one to fifteen, z power k plus one by z power k whole square. So if you whenever immediately after seeing this uh, equation z square plus z plus one is equal to zero, this is nothing but the cube to roots of unity. Cube to roots of unity. That means x cube minus one is equal to x minus one into x square plus x plus one is equal to zero. Nothing but cube to roots of unity. See here x square plus x plus one is equal to zero. So for this we have Two roots that is one, one omega omega square. So this also we have the two roots omega omega square. Okay. So let us start our problem with the omega. So let us z is equal to omega. First we we can write it as a z z means omega. So z means omega omega power one plus one by one omega power one whole square plus omega. Square plus one by omega square, whole square. Next, omega cube plus one by omega cube, whole square plus so on. Last term is omega to the power of fifteen plus one by omega to the power of fifteen whole square. So, if you find out this value, the problem is over. The first thing what you have to learn is so here one to fifteen terms are there. Whatever may be the value you will get in the first three terms, again next three terms also the same thing is repeated, repeated. So like that, how many uh, three terms are there? Total fifteen, no? That means five, three, uh, like that. Three terms, three terms, three terms, like like that. You will get uh, so here six fives are uh, like that. How many sets you will have? Three terms sets. How many we are? We have three terms, no? Three fives are. Five sets are there. This type of sets five are there. Therefore, five threes are fifteen. That means so find out the value of up to here. Then you multiply with the five, you will get the final answer. Now tell me, so what is the value of this omega? So this is one by omega means you multiply and divide with omega square by omega. So this is omega. Omega plus omega square is equal to minus one whole square. So you multiply with the here omega by omega square into omega omega cube omega square plus omega minus one. We know that one plus omega plus omega square is equal to minus one, zero. Sorry. So this is equal to minus one whole square. So omega cube value is one and uh, also one by omega cube value is one. One plus one two. So this is two square. So this is a one plus one plus four six. We will get. Okay now, like that again. If you calculate the next three terms also, first three terms there, next three terms also, you will get the same six. Next three terms also, you will get the same six value. Okay now, so why? Because it is a cyclic order, cyclic order. So next term, what you will get here? Omega power four plus one by omega power four. This is nothing but omega power four means omega. Omega power four means omega. Again, you will get this term. Again, minus one, minus one whole square. Minus one whole square. So that means no need of finding all the values. First to three, the three sets, three sets there. So therefore, up to three values, uh, three terms. This is six. Like that terms, how many are there? Five. Therefore, five into six. Therefore, thirty is your final answer. Okay. So very very easy problem. This is uh, it was given in twenty seventh July two thousand twenty two. So I hope that you understand this solution. Let us go for next problem. Dear students, welcome to the second problem. So it is uh, from both uh, differential equation and the local maxima and local minima. Right. So x dy by dx plus 2y is equal to x e power x and the y of 1 is equal to 0. Then the local maximum of there is a function given that is z of x is equal to x square y of x minus e power x, where x belongs to R is. Now from this. Uh, See this uh, first differential equation x dy by dx plus 2y is equal to x e power x. It's a very clearly a linear differential equation in the variable y. So how dy by dx so divide with x that is equal to 
2 by y x into y is equal to e power x. So, this is a linear differential equation in the variable y. So, what is the integrating factor e power 2 by x dx. So, this is equal to e power 2 times log x. So, this is equal to x square is the your integrative factor. What is the general solution? So, your general solution is equal to y into x square integral of <coughs> So, this is equal to e power x into x square dx. Okay, now. So, here we know that how to find out this value. So, this is equal to so e power x into x square minus e power x into 2x plus e power x into 2 plus c. So, this is the first thing what you have to learn. Okay. So, here x square 2x 2 then we will start plus minus plus. We know the we know the rule. So, this is equal to y x square. To find the constant of integration, it is given y of 1 is equal to 0. So, that means wherever x is there substitute 1, wherever y is there substitute 0. So, if it is becomes a y is so here we got here. So, to find the constant of integration, so it is given that y of 1 is equal to 0. That means wherever x is equal to x is there substitute 1, wherever y is there substitute 0. So, here it will become 0 since y value is 0. Now, wherever x is there substitute 1, so this is equal to e, this is equal to 2e, so this is minus 2e, so this is plus 2e plus c. So, minus 2e plus 2e get cancelled, so this constant of integration is minus e. So, on the whole what you got, so this is equal to y x square is equal to, this is equal to e power x into x square minus e power x into 2x plus e power x into 2 plus sorry c value is minus e. So, this is the function we got. Okay, now right if you observe here y is equal to y into x square is equal to uh, up to here up to here uh, can you take a uh, and one more thing it is given x square into y e power x square x square s y e power x square minus e power x. So, here subtract minus e power x on both sides. If you subtract y e power x uh, on both sides, you will get the function z of x. So, x square into y minus e power x. Sub, uh, subtract e power x on both sides. So, this becomes e power x into x square minus e power into 2x. So, this is a 2 e power x minus e minus e power x. So, this is equal to e power x into x square minus e power x into 2x. So, 2 e power x minus e power x 1 e power x minus e. So, if you observe here, if you take this, uh, you can take e power x common outside here. So, if you take e power x common outside, see what happens e power x, it is a x square minus 2x plus 1 minus e. So, this is a e power x into x minus 1 whole square minus e. Again, you can take a uh, factorization and uh, you will uh, x minus 1 whole square. Okay? So, this is your z of x. This is your z of x. This function should be, we have to get the local maxima. So, for local maxima, local minima, we have a fixed procedure. So, we will find out its uh, first derivative and we will make it into 0 and we will get some x values afterwards second derivative. So, if it is less than 0, it is maximum and if it is greater than 0, minimum. Okay? So, let us uh, continue the procedure. It is equal to z dash of x is equal to e power x into u into by parts formula. That is 2 times x minus 1 plus x minus 1 whole square into e power x. For minus e, the derivative is 0. Right? From this, what can you take? Uh, you can take the common e power x you can take x minus 1 is also you can take that is equal to e power x into x minus 1. Here 2 is there, here 1 x minus 1 is there. So, this is equal to e power x into x minus 1 into this is x plus 1. This is your z dash of x. Okay, now. So, for maxima and minima, your z dash of x is equal to 0. That means uh, x is equal to e power x cannot be equal to 0. For any value of x, e power x cannot be equal to 0. So, either x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x plus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to minus 1 or plus 1. For which value uh, the function is a maximum or minimum means it depends upon the second derivative. So, what is the second derivative? S double dash of x is equal to. So, if you observe this is a e power x into x square minus 1. Okay, now, so do the derivative of that. So, that is a e power x into x square minus 1 derivative. This is a 2x 
plus x square minus 1 into e power x derivative is e power x. Now, first you substitute minus 1, minus 1 you substitute what happens you see, uh, if you substitute minus 1 here, so this is equal to minus 1 whole square, it will be, it, this total becomes 0, this is a minus 1, so this is less than 0, less than 0. Therefore, at the x is equal to minus 1, if you substitute 1, e power 1 into 2 into 1, it become a positive value, when if you substitute x is equal to minus 1, z double dash of x is less than 0. Therefore, at x is equal to minus 1, the given function is maximum. At x is equal to 1, z of x is maximum. So, he is asked to find out what is that maximum value. So, that maximum value means what? Wherever uh, x is there, you have to substitute that uh, uh, x is equal to minus 1 substitute. So, what is the z of x value here? So, what is the z of x means e power x into x minus 1 whole square uh, minus e. So, wherever x is there, substitute minus 1 here, substitute here. So, therefore, f of minus 1 is equal to e power minus 1. So, if you substitute here minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 2 whole square, minus 2 whole square, minus e. So, this will be a maximum at the x is equal to 1. So, the maximum value will rise at x is equal to 1. What is that uh, maximum value means? That will be your maximum value. That means, at x is equal to minus 1. This is your z of x function. Substitute x is equal to minus 1 here. So, that is equal to minus 1 minus 2 whole square. So, this is equal to 4 by e minus e. That will be your maximum value and it obtained at x is equal to minus 1. Okay? So, I hope that you understand this solution. Let us go for next problem. Dear students, welcome to next problem. If R and negation P implies P and Q or R is a tautology, then R is equal to. Here R is a statement. In place of R, in place of R, what you have to keep so that the given compound statement is a tautology. Okay. So, to do this problem, first of all, it is a implication statement. So, first of all, you break this, this implication. So, for this, we have one formula that is a P implies Q is logically equivalent negation P or Q. Understand? So, that is a thing we have. So, here also, P implies Q is logically equivalent to negation P or Q. So, this is also negation P, that means negation of R and negation P or q q means complete p and q r r p and q r r so this is equal to negation r or negation of negation p p or p and q r r okay now now so in place of r what we have to substitute so that this total compound statement is tautology Right, we will do the option verification. Let us take the first option A. Let us take R is equal to negation P. Substitute here R is equal to negation P. So, negation R means what? Negation of negation. That means P or P or P and Q or R means what? Negation P. So, this is the statement you have to decide whether it is a tautology or not. For this, the best thing is do not try to uh, write the uh, Venn diagram. Uh, so, do not try to do the table, truth table, do not find out, but uh, draw the Venn diagram. So, if you observe here, so this is a two statements are here P and Q. Observe here P or P, P or P means what? It is P, completely P. P or P. And uh, one more it is there, negation P. Negation P means what? Outside P. Outside P. That means this is a negation P. Negation P. So, already in a previous so many classes I told. So many classes. If the complete Venn diagram is shaded, then it is a tautology. Yes, it is a tautology. So, therefore, option A is the correct answer. That is all. If total Venn diagram is shaded, so, by seeing this, that is a P and a negation P is there. So, your problem is over. Okay, it is a tautology. Okay, now. So, I hope that you understand this solution. Let us go for next problem. Dear students, welcome to the next problem. So, the problem is from matrices. 
So here one matrix is given 14, 28, minus 14, minus 14, 14, 28, 28, minus 14, 14. It is equal to adjoint of adjoint of A, then uh, that A is equal to how much? Determinant of A is equal to how much? To do this problem, um, the best thing is so to take the modulus, uh, sorry, take the determinant on both sides. Yes, both take uh, determinant on both sides. So if you observe here, in the first row, I can take uh, 14 common outside, second row, I can take 14 common outside, third row, I can take 14 common outside. Altogether, there are uh, uh, 3 14s are there. So, this is equal to 14 cube times this is a 1, 2, minus 1, minus 1, 1, 2, 2, minus 1, 1. So, first I will find out this value, afterwards, I will apply the formula there, direct formula is there, I will apply. So, this is equal to 14 cube into 1 into AD minus BC that is a 1 into plus 2 that is equal to 3 minus 2 into minus 1 minus 4 this is equal to minus 5. So, minus 1 into 1 minus 2 this is minus 1. So, this is equal to 14 cube is equal to 3 plus uh, minus into minus plus plus 1. So, this is equal to 10 plus 1 altogether this is a 14 this is a 14 power 4. 14 power 4 is the left hand side part. Coming to here, direct formula we have adjoint of, adjoint of A is nothing but that A whole power n minus 1 whole square. Here two adjoints are there, that is why whole square. If three adjoints are there, whole cube. If four adjoints are there, whole power 4. So, here n is equal to how much? It is a 3 by 3 matrix. So, this is equal to that A 3 minus 1 to 2 square 4. So, therefore, that a whole power 4 is equal to 14 to the power of 4. That a whole power 4 is equal to 14 to the power of 4. Therefore, determinant of a is equal to plus or minus 14. This will be your direct answer. Okay? So, very, very easy problem. So, the only thing is, uh, what the idea you have to get is, if you take the uh, determinant on both sides, the problem is over. Okay, na? And one more thing is, you have to remember this uh, property also. Okay? Right, very nice problem. So, let us uh, go for next problem. Dear students, welcome to the next problem. So, here the problem is e power 2x minus 11 e power x minus 45 upon e power x plus 81 by 2. Then the sum of the roots is equal to ln p. Then what is the value of p? Right. So, it is given first of all it is uh, upon uh, e power x is there. Better you multiply first e power x. Then we will see that. So, you multiply with e power x, then it will become e power x into e power x, e power 3x minus 11, e power 2x minus 45 plus 81 upon 2, e power x is equal to 0. Let us put it in the order. So, therefore, e power 3x minus e power 2x plus 81 by 2, e power x minus 45 is equal to 0. Okay, now, right. So, this will, uh, this is a cubic equation in the variable e power x, let it, we have three roots alpha, beta, gamma. This is a cubic equation in the variable e power x, e power x. Okay, now. So, to solve this, let us take that uh, put e power x is equal to t, put e power x is equal to t, then it will become t cube minus 11 into t square plus 81 by 2 t minus 45 is equal to 0. See here dear, then he, here he asked to find out sum of the roots, alpha plus beta plus gamma value is asking, alpha plus beta plus gamma value, sum of the roots and I convert it into e power x and uh, I turn. Now, if alpha, beta, gamma are the roots of this equation, what will be the roots of this equation? e power alpha, e power beta, e power gamma. Try to understand this. So, the I converted into in terms of t where e power x is equal to t. If alpha, beta, gamma are the roots of the given equation, so e power alpha t, t. So, these are these roots will be in terms of t that is t is equal to e power alpha, t is equal to e power beta, e power gamma will be the roots of the given equation. Now, see here to get alpha plus beta plus gamma, try to find out the product of the roots here 
product of the roots that is equal to e power alpha into e power beta into gamma is equal to minus plus minus this is equal to 45. That is e power alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to 45. Therefore, alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to ln 45. This is given ln p. Therefore, p is equal to 45. So, very, very logical problem here. So, once again, so this is a given equation. It is a cubic equation in the variables e power x. It has a three roots alpha, beta, gamma. It is asked to find out sum of the zeros, alpha plus beta plus gamma. So, let us put e power x is equal to t. Therefore, the problem will become in terms of t. So, for this alpha is the root, for this e power alpha, e power alpha t, you know, that is why e power alpha, e power beta, e power gamma are the zeros of this given function. Therefore, I to find out alpha plus beta plus gamma, I have taken the product of the roots. Product of the roots is equal to 45. So, e power alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to 45. Alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to ln 45. That is given by ln p. Therefore, your p value is 45. So, very, very easy problem this is. So, I hope that you understand this uh, today's class and you enjoyed today's class. With uh, some more problems, I will come tomorrow. Okay? So, all the best for your exams.